Good morning. So back on the four-wheeler lift today in the shop and I got to work on building a foot right here for this end, for this leg. I'm going to build a foot out here. I'm going to put these rubber feet on it so they'll sit on the concrete and they won't scratch the concrete. So uh, last time we built uh, these rollers here on this leg these rollers, this cage. So now I gotta build the other end of this leg, which will be a foot that sits on the floor. So this will be on the floor, and that foot down there on this leg will be on the floor. Then as the lift raises, this and that foot will stay on the concrete floor as the lift comes up. This will take up the, the slack as it rolls back. This will roll back so everything can scissor up. So we'll get, with, get going with that. We'll get this foot built. I'm gonna make it adjustable just like I did on the other end with the rollers. It'll have a bolt in here, adjustable, uh, hingeable piece there with the foot on it. I don't want rollers on this end because you don't want the lift to be rolling around. You want some stationary activity there. So can't, uh, tell for sure yet if I want to go three across like this with the rubber pads just a nice simple foot or if I want to go in a triangle shape I'm gonna kind of figure that out as I go here and make these work they're uh, really hard rubber I just got to drill through them and they should screw onto or thread onto a little stub sticking out of the foot so you can buy these down at the Ace Hardware store here. Uh, real simple for replacement if they wear out, which they shouldn't. They're pretty stout. Anyway, get with that and show you that. These pieces are marked out, ready to be cut with uh, plasma. So I've got these two sides in the center. This would be this one here. Goes in the center, just like I did down on that other end. Just like I did in here. So it'll be two sides that slide back inside the tube. And then the one that sticks out there is the shorter one. And then it bolts back here like that with the adjustment bolt on it. So I'll go ahead and cut those with the plasma. And get those ready to be ground up, welded. And I can stick them in the tube here. And have that sticking out. And then what I decided on the feet was I'm going to use the angle. And I'll just put three of them like this. And then that'll just weld on this side to this adjustment. So these will stick down and be on the concrete. So I think we'll go with that and uh, see what that looks like. I've got these ground out. They're clamped together here. I've got a spacer back there to hold that space. And then I'll weld here and here and on each side and then uh, this will be where the foot bolts to and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and weld that and I'll show you that process Sweet. OK, 
Okay, there's that. Kind of let that cool down. Trying to weld to everything here. Well, like I said, uh, this is kind of an ever-evolving thing. I change it as I go, just trying to think of better ways to make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bushing and I'm going to cut this end. I'm going to weld this bushing in there. Uh, it's centered like that, centered in between. And then I can make it greasable. And I'm going to make the foot bigger. I was going to use that angle iron, but I'm going to make it bigger. It's going to pivot on here. And I need to make it big enough that it can't fold under, you know, and be real. As it comes up, I don't want it to just be flopping around. I want it to actually sit on the floor flat. And as this pivots, it needs to stay flat on the floor. So <clears throat> I'm going to make the foot bigger. I'm going to probably make it, I don't know, maybe uh, eight eight inches by eight inches or six by six or something and I'll triangle these uh, rubber blocks I'll put three in a triangle you know one in the back two in the front or whatever just to make it where it won't want to fold up or roll up as you're going up with the lift this is what I came up with to uh, get my table level so bubbles right in the middle High lift jack. They're handy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so the reason I did that is because I'm going to take this bushing, put it through here, and I want it to be perfectly level. So this is sitting in there. I want this to be perfectly level. I don't want it to be this way or this way. I want it to sit perfect. And uh, that way the foot will be, or can be, should be level and everything should be happy. Then this way I can put a grease zerk in this and it'll be greasable because it'll be rotating quite a bit as much as this other one, much as this one. It'll be rotating that much. So I'll have a grease zerk in that and the foot sticking up off the top of that. This is the design I came up with for the foot. So it's eight inches this way uh, the sides are four and then it goes around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one like that there'll be one over here and put the other one like that this tab's going to get cut off but it'll be like that that'll be the bottom of the foot and uh, that'll be what sits on the concrete and then the foot will swivel on this piece like that Gonna cut this with the plasma. We'll cut this foot out and then uh, we'll get it ground up nice, looking nice. We can figure out how we wanna mount it to that pivot over there. helmet has two modes it's got a welding mode and a basically a grinding cutting mode so that's why you see me switching it it's too dark for this but I got to switch it back for the welder let's see what I want to do this no This is the foot, I got it cut out. So like I said, these will sit like this. One in that corner, 
one like that. I'll thread the bolt through. I'm gonna drill these and uh, basically like tap them. It's rubber, so it's not gonna tap real good, but it doesn't take much to hold these on. So I'll screw them down on the bolt and I'll probably put silicone in the hole to help kind of glue it to the bolt and a little bit to the pad. And then uh, we'll just screw them down like that. And this will be on the floor, so it's not going to mar the floor up as this thing tilts. I'm going to show you here what I'm doing. So these have to be pretty close to the same. So we're seven inches from the bottom of the table here to the top of this wheel right here. That's seven. So I want to be pretty much the same. So I've got a spacer under there to get, to get that into the center. We're basically just a little lower than seven, just a sixteenth maybe. But I can take that up with the space when I make this adjustable. That'll make all that work. And then what I'm going to do under here is weld tabs down off of this like that that'll bolt through that's pretty much going to sit flat like that right there it's going to sit just like that pretty much and then uh, it'll rotate it'll be able to rotate this way and then it'll be flat there but as it comes up as this leg goes up this is going to stay level so this part will get farther away so it'll just rotate on this and then I'll put a grease zerk in here and uh, this should never touch it. Should be far enough away that it'll never touch it, but we'll, it'll be greasable here like that one. So this will be greasable. These are my gussets that I'm going to weld onto this foot and basically they'll, they'll have a hole here and here. Uh, that'll work so I'll cut them like this you can kind of see that they're a triangle-ish shape and then uh, we'll use that to make gussets out of and then I can drill through there put this bolt through and that foot should rotate we'll see here's what I have I cut those gussets out uh, Got to bolt it on there. I just got to weld it on now. So that's how that bottom of that foot's gonna be. Or the, this would be actually the top. So once it's welded, I got to flip it back over, put it back in the tube there. But anyway, that's uh, how that's gonna look. Then I'll put a grease zerk in the end of that, into that tube there so it can be greased and should work pretty good. Show you that. Got that welded on. 
weld it in the middle, weld it on that side. Then I'll drill it for the feet. As it's cooling down, I can be drilling. And then uh, we can figure out how the feet are gonna go on there, the little rubber pads. But that's the gist of that. Um, then I gotta mount this back in here and put a uh, adjustment bolt in it. Show you what I did for the feet. So get this out of the way. So I tacked some bolts down through. Just like, oop, that's still really hot. Like that. Now I should be able to might even be good to do while it's really hot. I drilled holes through these. Should be able to thread them on there. They're gonna go on hard, but they will thread. Just like that. They'll thread down. Nice and snug. Yeah, just like that. So I drilled a smaller hole in the rubber than the size of the bolt. I want it to stretch the rubber a little, but I don't want it to rip it or stress it where it cracks. And this way, if you get one of these that gets bad after a while, as rubber seems to do, see now the bolt is clear down inside there. So that'll sit on the floor with no bolt sticking through. But as the rubber gets, you know, if the rubber gets bad, if it wants to split out at some point, just like that. There, those will stay on there. So that's how the foot's gonna look. That's upside down right now. I gotta flip it back around. But that's how it's gonna look. Here's the final product on this foot. Got the adjustment bolt here for up and down. Got the pivot bolt back in here. Got a grease zerk. And this bolt, so it pivots. It's nice and snug. But yeah, so that's how that's gonna work. So that foot will sit on the floor. And then as this, comes up it can pivot back and stay level so that's the foot so I'm gonna build the rest or the other two legs similarly exactly the same as these so probably won't film that uh, it you've seen it done on these two I'm gonna do the same thing over there on the other side I'll get those two legs built and then uh, I can start building the center portion, uh, the lift portion of it with the airbag. Get that all put in with, uh, with these bushings. They'll go in here, um, probably countersunk in, into the pipe a ways, something like that. And then uh, these two together are the same width as that, six inches. So I'll just put a shaft through there or a bolt through there or something. I'm gonna drill these and uh, tap them and put grease zerks in them. So this will all be greasable. And then I'll build, once I get the other legs done, I can build the plate that goes from this through these so that as this comes up, it picks these up. So I will bring you back for that section of that. Um, I'll build the legs. You've seen that done, that's been video and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on this side over on that side and then uh, when we come back I'll be building the center section there the lift part of it and once that part's done uh, the biggest thing I got to do after that is build the ramps off off of here and remember this table is upside down so the ramps will come back off of here and then I got to finish welding in the stops up here so there'll be a piece that goes at an angle just to keep the front tires from rolling off the front. So anyway, that's probably it for today.
thank you again for watching i appreciate it and i hope you enjoy the content and uh getting to see the things that we're doing here in in central oregon and uh the interesting projects and the places we get to go and see so i appreciate it thank you again for watching i i do really appreciate it so have a good day we'll see you on the next one